hey guys what is up and welcome back to the channel before we get into the video i just want to take a quick moment to say thank you to all of my channel members whose names are appearing on screen right now if you want your name to appear on screen before every reaction video then uh, subscribe to the first tier of membership which is called shout out supporter and if you want additional content which is usually either a live stream or a pre-recorded video then you can subscribe to the second tier which is called weekly catch-ups i don't know usually whether i will do a live stream or a video it kind of depends on how my week is going that week <laughs> but there is usually every week additional content of course you're being here and watching the video supports the channel a lot whilst you're at it if you want to give a like a subscribe that will be wonderful if you want to give a super thanks of course that would also be greatly appreciated but an extra thanks does go out to my channel members for their ongoing support and on that note let's get in to the video Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lona, I'm also known as Shikar Transformations. I'm a London health fitness coach, I'm also a bodybuilder. I'm gonna have to start changing that soon, ain't I? Because I don't think I'll be doing bodybuilding anymore, but technically I'm still building my body, so we can keep it. But I don't think I'll be doing any more bodybuilding in terms of competing. But I will always love bodybuilding though, because it's fun. And the posing is fun. Anyway, besides that point, if you are curious to see what that's all about, and especially my upcoming powerlifting journey, then check out my vlogs that I shall be making once I um, get a plan through from uh, a coach that I'm considering. And um, sort of like, start with that. Until then, I've decided to just take some time off from vlogging because it's been a lot. But instead, of all the, but instead, what I'm doing is I'm uploading a lot of shorts and reels, and I'm quite active on Instagram, so... Check out my social medias and my shorts if you want to see like recipes, training, just bits and bolts of my life here and there. All of that will be on uh, shorts. Uh, for this for eating, I'll put up a video later, a short that I made over the weekend but I didn't get a chance to edit in TikTok about some glutes and hamstring exercises. So yeah, it's been a busy weekend for me, this is why I uh, didn't get a chance to do it. So, talking of the weekend, since my Amber video, apparently her and Tommy have now uh, broken up. It's called It's Over. Uh, I'm not going to go into this completely raw. I did listen to Deadly Content this morning. So, hey, Death and Neil Boots. I heard what they had to say. And they reacted to this. So, I didn't want to initially react to it. But I feel like I have things to say. <laughs> and if I feel like I have things to say, then I will say those things. <laughs> Whether people like it or not. So, I'm going to listen to the thing and say the things. <laughs> anyway. Hi, guys. I look like crap because I feel like crap. I really don't even know what to say but like you guys don't know the full story at all uh, what you mean the full story of this person being in a relationship with somebody who passed away like less than three months ago who they spoke at their funeral and they literally had phoebe accounts together I was, well, i'm wondering what the whole story could be what is it all right guys i don't know what it is my audio from there is not my audio my audio is working because i can hear it um but the mic is not working and I've, I've just tried to reset it in OBS and it's not picking it up and I don't have the time nor the energy to try and problem solve it right now Welcome to my channel. There is an audio demon as an emoji for members for a reason Because I always have audio problems and it's just a curse by now But this is why we take make a mockery of it because we shall not let okay, We shall not be knocked down by the audio demons of this world talking of which if you are a member I have actually updated the names so your name should be there in the shout out if it's not email me Because I probably won't see all the comments Additionally, if you want to become a member, it's in the description down below. Um, there's members live streams or videos once a week, as well as a shout out if you want, as well as emojis. And on top of that, I'm almost at 50k. Do please subscribe if you're not already. It would make me very happy, obviously. It will be a humongous milestone. I will do a cash prize giveaway, and I will also give away some coaching, some one-to-one -one coaching. I am at capacity for one-to-one -one coaching at the moment. So if I've not responded to your email, this is why I only get back to people when I have the space that become available. But yeah, I am at capacity for one-to-one -one coaching, so if I'm not responding to you, this, this is why. Anyway, let's get back into Amber, because this has been a whole hoo-ha sidetrack for the last 15 minutes, and it's been only two minutes of your time, so there we go. The hardest part of this whole thing is like, there is a, big part of the story missing but i'm never going to sit there and i just i just don't understand how she's of course we don't know the full story but what we do know is that she was in opening a phoebe feeder phoebe relationship with a woman that has passed away 
she spoke at a funeral not that long ago. Just those and the fact that she came over after talking to you for less than a month and you both, she, she made you feel like this was the best thing that has ever happened. All of that is manipulated. Like, it's textbook manipulation, and maybe it's maybe we're the wrong ones. This is possible, and if we're wrong, I'm more than willing to eat my hat, take my words back. But it sounds like classic textbook manipulation, and it's not hard to manipulate somebody like Amber. No, I'm not being funny, but like somebody like her that's so broken, that has such a broken past, and you know exactly what she wants, what she what she yearns for, which is to be loved, and it's fully understandable. I totally understand that. We all want to be loved. We all want to be taken care of. It's a wonderful feeling, right? So like, I get it. And sometimes people come into your life, and if they can see that this is something you're like almost desperate for. Sorry to say, people are not nice. People are, are, are abusive, and she may say she might say that we're the ones that are being mean and horrible, but actually. You know, I know that this is what she what she is gonna say, but actually, like, I'm I'm the one that actually cares because I can see what's going on is not right, and I don't want you to be hurt further down the line. And then people have their opinions here and there, but I I just I just don't want to see Amber like eat herself to death. Sorry, because she's done some bad things in her past. I 100% agree. I still don't think she deserves to be eat, eat herself to death. I wish more for her. That's basically it. And talk about other people's personal things because that's. Uh, but we're talking about your personal things because you put them on the internet. That's how this works, Amber. You've done this for like over a decade. You know how the internet works. You knew the second that you posted her that people were going to ask questions. When you're a social media person and people like to talk, it's just what's going to happen that people are going to talk. People are going to find out who this person is and especially with her. And neither should be surprised. I think it's surprising that she is surprised that this even happened. This has happened with every single girlfriend that she's ever had. So... You know, it's not that weird that this happened. That's not, that's not me. That's not who I am. But because of this, me and now my ex, we are not together anymore. And this has left her like debilitated. Like literally, like her mental health has gone down so much. Like she's literally. This is how these work. Duarte is. It's interesting, isn't it? How they work. Um. Besides that point. She, her partner was literally on Dr. Oz and other TV shows. So she was like a social media sort of personality. So this is nothing new to her. She knew who you were. She knew you had a social media presence. Anybody that does any research into her knows that she has the forums to talk poorly of her. And she's not going to tell me that this person didn't know who Amber was and that this couldn't be a consequence. Come on now. I mean, remember my think that we were born yesterday, but we... And we, we, we know things. This is all just... If things, are, if things are too good to be true, it's too good to be true. The fact that she didn't know what Amber or anything like that, she just happened to find her. One of the greatest people. And it's like, to see people say things that are not true at all. But where is the light? Where is the light though? She literally was speaking at this girl's funeral. When you get to a certain size, you physically can't... Take care of yourself. Somebody has to do it for you, so they're enabling you. Now, gr to what degree somebody is partial to their death is like that's that's arguable. But if there's video, if there's pictures and videos and stuff like that floating around of them doing feeder content and being on the bellies and doing like belly slapping and stuff like that, that means that she probably was into her being really big, and she liked the fact that she was incapacitated because that's what they get off on. That's the power play dynamics of it. And I'm sorry, that's sick in the head. That's like wanting to see somebody starve to death. That's what it is, right? Like, it, like, I just don't know. I just, I wish I could say this in a different way and mince my words or be more like, um, um, diplomatic about it. But this is the truth. Um, that you don't want to see it because you like this person. I get it. I get it. You know, like, oh, I've got really fucking freaking dry hands. I get it, it's not nice when you're getting manipulated or you're being gaslit or maybe it's not gaslit, it's gaslighting, it's love bombing, it's love bombing and, it is love bombing and manipulation. This what's happened here. I get it, it's horrible, it's not nice, it's a really shit situation to be in and it's wild when it happens to you. It's happened to me once and I was like what the fuck, like literally my whole, like I just, like reality ain't real, this is weird, like it's weird when it happens and she's still in the phases where she can't see it because she feels like she is... You know, they probably told her that it wasn't like that, but Amber, how is it any other way? How is it any other way? There, they, there, is, there is so much evidence 
they had an account, a feeder account, a feeder feedy account. They make they made feeder feedy content. They commented on how big and beautiful it is and amazing it is that this she's so big she's breaking beds. They should be proud of that. She spoke at a funeral. Like what what other things is there? That's not love. That's sadism. I, I just don't see how people can see that as love. That's literally like if you're together with a crackhead or a heroin addict and you, you just keep buying them heroin because you kind of like to see them high. That's basically what it is. It's not that like you, you are giving them, you're not even just, it's not just giving them uh, crack or heroin because you want them to not suffer or you want to like enable them in a manner of where they're not dealing with their mental. No, 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 you get pleasure out of seeing them inject and get high or smoke and get high. That's this situation with the fetus. It's not just enabling behavior. They're actively participating in the demise. I just thought, I just, I just, I think this girl must be really good at what she does. And obviously Amber is so desperate to be liked and loved that, that the, the thought of somebody actually liking and loving her is just completely putting wool in front of her eyes. And like, obviously nobody wants to be told that when you, when you think you find somebody, it's never, never nice to hate that they're potentially bad people. But you've just got to also be realistic about it. That is the whole situation weird. And the evidence that's out there is like, I haven't even seen everything, but from the few things that I have seen, it's like, how can you even argue against this? There, like, I don't understand what other storyline there is to be had. Oh, like, it's not surprising. That's literally what people do. That's what they've done my whole freaking YouTube career. And for these people to act like they care about me now. Yeah, but why, if you know that this is the case? But Daisy, what are we doing? Get out. If you know this is what people do, why do you then go and post your first date on Instagram? Why do you post and tag her? Why do you change your Instagram to Tommy's girl? Why do you do all these things? I get it, but also like if you're that cautious about it, then maybe take your time before making things public, no? If you know these things, then why do you do these things? Just because people shouldn't do things, that doesn't, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. People shouldn't do a lot of things and they still do them. So... Oh. Yes, I know, there are thousands of you who love me and support me. And I generally do care, because when I initially, when I watched the video, I was happy for her. And I was like, I hope it works out, and I hope it's not love bombing. I was happy for her. So I do actually genuinely care. It's just, when you care, sometimes, if, when you care, you say things you don't want to hear to the people that you care for. You don't just kiss their ass and enable them. That's what you do when you care. You want to see me happy, and I appreciate those messages, but you guys have no idea, like, I feel it. But all of these people who act like they care about me and they're worried about me, bull, bull. Like, you guys have never wanted to see me happy. There are so many of you who love to see me miserable. And you're getting that. You won again. <laughs> yeah, but again, just the fact that she's doing it and making videos of it. And, like, she probably is because she's going to go into the monetization here, I'm saying. But you do it yourself also, though. So, yeah, I get it, but this is what YouTube is all about, though, so, isn't it? Making money. This is where you make money, because we make money on you. It's a circle. You literally won again. What's happening is not okay. Like, it's not. This is the... Yeah, it's not okay, but it's also you need to just realize that what's happening to you is a farce, a facade. It's not, it's not, real, it's not reality. It's just somebody's playing you, man, like, for real. That's obviously my opinion, of course, but it's, 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 I just don't see, like, provide me arguments as to how you don't think it's uh, an obvious play. Very fucking reason why I don't want to show people in my videos. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with so many of you. I am talking to a big part of you, but I'm not talking to all of you, so I need that to be, like, fully known like i know there are a lot of people who love and support me like i know that but like right now that is not being heard as much as i feel it what is really being heard is like y'all are ruining someone's life who does not deserve it like it is if this person is allegedly was allegedly in a relationship with a woman that's a thousand pounds. She was over over a thousand pounds. And she was completely immobile, probably in hospital, probably on, like in my opinion, probably on all kinds of medication trying to keep her alive. And then they probably kept giving her food. I don't know. I have thoughts about that. I, th I feel like you were complacent in the death. I'm sorry.
And the fact that this person is like months later and has spoken to other people, like she spoke to another girl before, like right before Amber, and then someone like Amber and whoever knows else. And I'm not saying like you can't move on from a relationship, but a death from somebody you love is not just like somebody you're dating for a couple of weeks and you go back on Tinder or whatever the fuck you're doing, right? This is like you go from one person to another, declaring that they're the love of your life, and there is a very clear, there's a there's a pattern of behaviour there. And it's very concerning. It's it's kind of sociopathic behavior or psychopathic. I don't know which one. Freaking but. crazy what is happening right now. You guys have interfered with my life. Yeah, but she, I think she's just upset because she wants something and she couldn't have it. Which is understandable, but also like you're in control. You're the one that makes the content. You're the one that puts the things on the social media. You know exactly how your community is. You're the one that has, you know if you're farm strength, you know that there's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of, thousands of pages documenting your history. This is not news. You knew that this was going to happen and either you knew about it and you just wanted, um, you just wanted the attention from it or you didn't care about it because they were giving you some attention and told you you were pretty and you were just disregarding the history that was there. In a way that like, it makes me want to just fucking disappear. You guys have no idea. Like, if you guys knew the full story, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute, but you don't- I, I, I just really failed to see what the full- what is it that we're missing? What is it that we're missing of somebody that has a feeder FD account that admits to um, finding it attractive that people are literally disabled and breaking beds at a thousand pounds? The spoke at a funeral, like, oh, what, what is it that we're missing? I just- I just- I would love to hear the argument, the counter-argument, where we go like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. And I really don't mean this to fetch shame, but to be attracted to somebody that's so obese where you're like over a thousand pounds or over 500, 600, 700 pounds, when you're an average sized human, that is like being attracted to an anorexic. You're, there's something fucking wrong with you. I know we all have preferences, but that's not normal. Like you could even argue that like when you get like the, the, the open bodybuilders and the open and the female bodybuilders, like even that is weird, like to a degree. And I will admit that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even attracted to open bodybuilders. I don't think it's nice to be that big and that muscular on a man. My point being is, is like, I think sports people being extreme is not the same thing as like eating disorders. Even though there is eating disorders in some, in some of the sports sometimes. But the fact that you're, if you're a normal sized person, yeah, you can like somebody that's a bit overweight. Maybe even a little, like maybe class one obese. Maybe even class two obese, depending on how your proportions are. I can see that happen. It's just weird. It's not normal. It's just not normal. And it's a weird fetish to have because you know these people are sick. Like why are you attracted to sick and dying people? That's weird. And the only reason you would be attracted to sick and dying people is because you can manipulate them. Right? No? Especially when it's like eating disorder wise because you know that these people have a lot of mental health problems. Otherwise you don't get to this extreme one way or the other. So you know they're mentally ill, and you know they're dying, and it gives you some sort of power because they're easy to manipulate. I'd like that's just how it is, right? No, am I am I am I seeing things wrong here? Am I just pulling things out of thin air? Am I armchair psychologying too much? Possible, very possible. <laughs> oh, and you'll never know, but like to find out all this fucking shit and then make your own narrative with it and say that I'm in danger. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. This but you could potentially have been in danger though. If this is all true, which it looks like it really very much is, then yeah, the last thing you need is a woman that's trying to get you bigger and that's not helping you lose weight. The weight loss ain't been weight lossing anyway from what we've been seeing. So you're not on the fat loss injections anymore. You're not doing any of the weight loss diets. You're not doing anything. So we've gone from like, even the seeing, I can see she's stagnated. She's probably like sitting in her 580s again. A 480, sorry, my bad, 480. So, you know, have you gained weight since you've been with her? In, ask yourself this question, have you gained weight since you've been with her? Or is it all okay because she's just not afraid to see you, to be seen with you and to watch you eat? She enjoys it. This has pushed me away. Completely pushed me away. I don't think I'll be the same for a long time. Like truly a long time because I had a future planned and I was happy and I was so fucking happy. Again, this is kind of weird. Like you were talking to this person for a month, you met once for a couple of days, and you're planning a whole future together. I mean, it's nice to, to start seeing somebody and for them to like think about you 
over the next few weeks and go like, oh, do you want to, you know, like go here or do that? Or do you want to maybe check this out? And like, that's nice. But to plan a future together, I mean, I'm not talking of like, okay, like I want to have children at some point. Do you want to have children? Okay, okay, cool. At least we're on that same wavelength. But to basically like, because I've learned that, I had to learn that when somebody is too much into the future, it's kind of, it's, it's not right. You know, it's not, um, it's exciting and to be like a small, a, a, near, a nearsighted future, or is it foresighted where you can't see? No, a nearsighted future. A, f a foreseeable future. If it's a foreseeable future, it's not so strange. But when it's like you're talking months and years and planning your whole life, well, with somebody even you've met once for a few days, and so loved and now we aren't together anymore because like her mental health comes first and her safety comes first i should have known something like this was gonna happen because nine well yeah you should have known because you've done this for a long time times out of ten people make the smallest thing that i do or say or whatever it may be into like a fucking huge this is a big fucking deal thing. It is a huge deal. This woman was with another woman who passed away because she was over a thousand pounds and they were doing feeder shit. This is a big deal. I just don't understand how it cannot be seen as a big deal. You know, this is, this is indeed a big deal. This is, this is enormous. No pun intended, but it is. You can't, like, you can't pretend that this is not a big issue. It, it's, it really is tremendously enormous. Bigger than a thousand pounds. Like, I should have known, like, I should have known, I shouldn't have ever shared her, I shouldn't have done it, but we were so fucking happy and in love and on cloud nine, like. But how can you be so happy and in love after just like, a couple of days, so. I can understand things can feel really good, but to just be so openly saying that, you can feel a certain way and be like, oh, I've, I'm experiencing things with you that I've never experienced with somebody else, which is probably true because every relationship is different. Hopefully you grow from every relationship. You shouldn't really, um, you should have new experiences in every relationship, of course. But to basically, the way she's making it sound like is that it was, it's, She's making it sound like this woman was just like love bombing and manipulating her. I just don't know what else to say. This is this is cl classic manipulation and love bombing. To a T. To a T. So if anything, I'm, this just proves to me even more so that there was something wrong with her. Besides the obvious that she's attracted to super morbidly obese death fats. Like literally death fats. I thought it feels horrible saying that. But this is what we're talking about. These people are like people that are literally dying. This is where the term death fat comes from. It's not like, oh, you're just a bit chubby. No, no, we're talking about people that are literally dying from obesity and death fat. It's just wild. They want to see me miserable? They don't care. Like, they don't care. It's all just for fucking show and for drama and people monetizing and making money. Like, it's not fair. But I hope that these people are happy because not only did they ruin my life, but they're ruining someone else's life and I'm not happy but I'm glad to see that hopefully this is for real and that it's not just a, a, a what's the word I'm looking for a distraction tactic so yeah I hope so and I don't say that because I'm happy to see you in misery I'm 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 glad because I don't want you to be with somebody that's potentially actually trying to on the live you faster than what's necessary I mean it's like the way we're going is anyway her mental health is not good right now and neither am i like i'm literally like look at me like i just am a fucking mess like everything right now feels heavy and scary and it's just not okay into the inappropriate joke there hey like i regret so badly ever sharing her i know people are gonna watch this and just not give a fuck they're just gonna roll their eyes and just not care i feel like my words don't matter to a lot of people i do care i feel just like that you're sticking your head in the sand you're being purpose willfully ignorant to the facts that are being presented. And I understand it. I understand it when you feel loved and wanted and somebody makes you feel like you're finally getting something that you've longed your whole life for. Obviously she was in a way attracted to you the way that maybe other women haven't been. Like it's, I understand it. I fully understand it. But as somebody who, who cares, they will tell you the truth when things seem fishy and things ain't right. And I would never make a video like this otherwise. It's really out of my ballpark. I don't really cover shit like this normally at all on my channel. Because it's like I talk about fitness and health. Your relationship is not really fitness and health related. So no, the, I, the fact that I made a video on it, and I know she's not just talking about me, she's talking about other channels, channels as well. But the fact that I went out of my way is because 
I... My dog's shook his arm. Not actually, but she's like, hey, missus. She's coughing or something. Um, the fact that I've gone out of my way to talk about it is because I am concerned. This is why. It's not a, oh, I just want to see you unhappy. I don't want to see you unhappy. I want you to actually get healthy and be happy and find somebody that loves you properly in terms of, like, you know, not just fill your head with, like, false ideas so that they can manipulate you and you can just become their, I don't know, their thousand pound pillow to lay their head on. That's fucking weird, man. It's weird and gross. I'm sorry. Or the way that I feel. They never have mattered. People watch me to just laugh at me and to hate me and... I'm realizing like people just want to ruin my life and um, it worked so people literally just don't think before they post they're fucking just thinking about it quite significantly and a lot now I really thought about it and this is why I made a video because I want to make people aware of the fact that feederism is fucking disgusting it's not normal it's not like oh I just want to see a chubby girl eat no 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 this is a really weird form of sex play that's sadistic and messed up and it's it's the ultimate form of power play and not in a consensual you could argue it's consensual but how consensual is it when you're a thousand freaking pounds like how mentally well are you surely there's laws around that right around consent and mental well-being and being cognitively there like you can't consent properly if you're not mentally well and we all know that you're mentally unwell you talk about your mental health your mental unwell your mental health all the time so you're you're proof of this and when you're mentally unstable, you're really easy to manipulate, unfortunately. And that's just part of parcel of it. And I'm sorry for being attracted to women that are amber size and bigger. That's weird. It's not normal. It's just not normal. Because these people are sick. It's weird to be attracted to people that are sick. Same as like when people are anorexic. It's weird. It's weird to find anorexic sexy. I'm sorry. It's weird to look at Eugenia Kuna and Eugenia Kuna, go like she's sexy. Right? No? Is that me? Am I being mean for saying that? Am I just having some sort of like disconnection with reality here? Because sometimes I say things and I don't realize what I'm saying and it's a bit too direct. That's just me being Dutch. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me repost all of the double Dutch memes. They're quite funny and so true to the point. It's, it is a truly Dutch thing. Um, I think like, I don't know, maybe European thing as well, to be fair. But I'm not talking like a little underweight or a little overweight. We're talking people that are dying. I just don't understand how you can't see that that's not weird. I really just, I just, I really failed to see what argument could be giving, given, oh yeah, they were such a nice person. Okay, but why do you find somebody that is actively dying attractive? And I don't mean somebody you've been with and they fall sick and they're passing away and you still love them. Of course, this is different. I'm talking about somebody that finds, oh, that goes up to, out of their way to find people that are sick, to be in relationships with. It's for power. It's for manipulation. It's for domination. It's for nothing else. Like, it's, it's, it's really as simple as that. No, am I oversimplifying? Am I seeing things that aren't there? Possible. Hungry for the next drama, the next thing to make me look bad or to make someone I love look bad. Like, that's just what they're waiting for. And when they thought they found that, they turned it into something way bigger than what it really is. And you guys, again, do not know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna repeat what I've already said like 10 times, so. The full story. And it's sad, but you never will. I really don't know what else to say besides I just, I kind of just feel defeated and hopeless and I'm absolutely heartbroken. Like, it's just the worst feeling in the world to go from being so fucking happy and like so sure of my feelings and my future to have that just ripped away from me over something that I didn't even do. To be so sure of my feelings and my future after somebody you've met for a couple of days. I get how exciting things can be, but also like, let's just be realistic and realize what you're saying here to the world, for everybody to see. Do, like that's like the hardest part. Well, that, that's the end of that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry about the audio problems. I'll try and fix it for the next one. I probably just need to do a reboot. I just didn't feel like doing it because I was already doing the recording. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I've got chores to catch up with. I've got plans to write. I'm a little bit tired because it was a busy weekend. I was active. I was, I was walking, training, being out and about. But it was good. So, um, yeah.
insert a, a sailor emoji, because this is a bit like nautical, isn't it? An anchor, an anchor emoji, let's do that, an anchor emoji, not a sailor, but an anchor emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.